Chapter 2, less than 1, percent of a number. You will be able to find the percent of a number. To find the percent of a number, you can either write the percent as a fraction and then multiply, or write the percent as a decimal and then multiply. Try the following examples by writing the percents as fractions first. So 5% percent, percents are out of 100. 5% would be 5 over 100. And then we need to multiply it by the total amount of 300. To do that, we put 300 over 1, and we multiply. 5 times 300 is 1,500. 100 times 1 is 100. Divide. 1,500 divided by 100, and you get 15. So 5% of 300 is 15. Letter B. 40% of 70. Again, percents are out of 100. So 40% is 40 hundredths. Multiply it by 70, our total, over 1. 40 times 70, 4 times 7 is 28. Add the two zeros over 100. 2,800 divided by 100 is simply 28. So 40% of 70 is 28. Letter C. 15% of 100. 15% can be written as 15 times 100, or 15 over 100. We're going to multiply that by 100, our total. We would get 1,500 over 100. 1,500 divided by 100 is 15. Find 55% of 60. 55 over 100 Oops. times our total of 60. So 55 times 60. Let's do 55 times 6, which is 330, and then add the 0 for the 60 over 100. 3300 divided by 100 is 33. So that's if we were to write them as fractions first. Now let's write these percents as decimals. If you recall, writing a percent as a decimal means you take the decimal point and move it two places to the left. So there's our decimal point. Let's move it two places to the left. We would get 0 0.75 times 280. So, 280 times 0 0.75, 0, 40, 10 plus 4 is 14. Cross those off, put a placeholder. 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 8 is 56, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 5 is 19. 0, 0, 10, 11, 2. And we have 1, 2 behind the decimal point, 1, 2. So our answer is 210. Make sure that looks like a 10. There we go. All right, let's try letter F the same way. 35% as a decimal is 0 0.35. Times 180. So 180 times 0.35. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 1 plus 4 is 9. Let's cross those out and put a placeholder. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 1 plus 2 is 5, 0, 0, 13, 6, 
I have 2 behind the decimal point, so 2 behind would be 63. Eight percent of 50. Decimal points at the end, move it 2 to the left. We have a gap, so we have to fill that gap with a 0. 0 0.08 times 50. So 50 times 0 0.08. 0, 40, placeholder, 0, 0, 400, well, we've got 2 behind the decimal point, 2 behind, our answer is 4. Letter H, 95% would be 0 0.95 times our total of 40. So 40 times 0.95, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 4 is 20, placeholder, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 4 is 36, I have 2 behind the decimal point, which leaves our answer as 38. You can use whichever method you prefer. Sometimes it'll be easier to change it to a decimal first. Sometimes it'll be easier to change it to a fraction, whichever you prefer. There are percents that are greater than 100. Percents that are greater than 100% can be written as improper fractions, mixed numbers, or decimals greater than 1. Percents are always out of 100. I, it doesn't matter what the percent is. If it has that percent symbol, the denominator is 100. So let's try these percents that are greater than 100. Let's try them using fractions and multiplying. So 120 percent is 120 over 100 times our total of 75 put it over 1. 75 times 120 is 9,000 over 100 times 1 is 100. Divide and we get 90. The percent is greater than 100 so your answer will be greater than that total. It's like if you were to get extra credit on a test or a quiz, your percent, and you got the whole test perfect, your percent would be over 100, which means you got more questions right than were calculated, than were totaled. Letter B, 150% is 150 out of 100 times 28 over 1. 150 times 28 is 4,200. 100 times 1 is 100. 4,200 divided by 100 is 42. Letter C. Again, 150% is out of 100, so 150 out of 100 times 20 over 1. 150 times 20, think, 150, or think 15 times 2, which is 30, and add the two zeros, so we get 3,000. 100 times 1 is 100. 3,000 divided by 100 is 30. And letter D. 160% is 160 over 100 times 35 over 1. So 160 times 35 is 5,600. 100 times 1 is 100. Divide it out and you get 56.
Now let's try writing them as decimals. 110%, your decimals at the end. We move it 2 to the left, which puts us at 1.10 or 1.1 times 70. So I'm going to use 1.1. 70 times 1.1, 0, 7, placeholder, 0, 7, we get 770, and I have 1 behind the decimal, so our answer is 77. 130% of 20, decimal point over 2, we get 1.30 or 1.3 times 20. I'm going to use 1.3 for multiplying. 0, 6, placeholder, 1, 2. We have 1 behind, so we get 27. Hundred seventy-five percent of 10. Move the decimal point over 2. 1.75 times 10. This time I can't take that other digit off because I don't have a zero. It's another number. So we'll put 1.75 on top times 10. Zeros across the board. Placeholder. 571. I have 2 behind the decimal point. So our answer here is 17.5 or 17.50. Letter H, 150% of 28. Move the decimal point over 2 to the left. We get 1.50 or 1 1.5 times 28. So 28 times 1.5. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, placeholder, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2, add them up, I have 1 behind, so the answer is 42. Again, it doesn't matter which method you choose, use the one that works best for you.